Oh yeah, it's tip time. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you set up your tipping link so that your viewers can easily send you tips. Let me show you how to do this. First, go to the Stream Elements website and just log in. Once you're in, go to the tipping settings and click on connect in this PayPal field here. This will lead you to the PayPal website to just log in with the PayPal account that you want to use to receive tips. Once that is done, you'll see that back on our website, it will say connected right here. Okay, so now you should add a Twitch panel so that your viewers can easily send you a tip by just clicking on it. Go to the tip panel setup so you can copy your tipping link. Now, back in your Twitch channel, just head to your about page and click edit panels here. Click add a text or image panel and then click add image. Just browse through the image that you want to use. Now in the image links to field, paste that URL you got earlier for your tipping page. Click on submit and you're done. Now your viewers can just click this image to be taken to your tipping page and send you a tip. Now let's head back to tipping settings because there's some other stuff you can customize. The first part is in page settings. Here you can find what currency your tipping page shows to your viewers, so you should choose your local currency. You can set up a minimum and a maximum amount someone can tip. You can also include a suggested amount to make it easier for folks tipping and the maximum message length they can send. You can also choose if you want viewers to be required to log in before sending a tip. This is useful to have because it increases security and helps fight fraudulent tips or chargebacks. I would also recommend taking the subscribe to global chargeback protection here. You can never go wrong with that. Next, you can add some tipping presets. These are amounts that will show up as buttons on your page and help make it easier for folks to send a specific amount, which also works well for when you have specific alerts for certain amounts. Now it's time to make your page pretty. Go to design and here you can change the title of your page or have a nice little message for your viewers who are dropping by. Then you can select a background for your page as well as a header. Please follow the recommended sizes displayed here so they don't end up looking wonky. Next, you can choose to enable a leaderboard, which will show who tips the most in your chat. The final part is tip moderation. This allows you to take a bit more control over the messages that chat can send via a tip. You can activate automatic tip message filtering here, and then choose if you want to use the standard profanity protection, which is a global collection of uh, naughty words that we maintain, or also use custom words that you can insert in this field here. You can enable TTS anti-spam for when your chat wants to be funny and send a thousand letter W's in a tip with TTS that takes forever to end. And the final setting here allows you to manually approve each tip. So basically, when someone sends a tip, an alert won't play immediately so that you can approve the message first. But before we go, we should probably show you how to add a tip alert to your stream. First, go to streaming tools and then overlays. Now create a new overlay and select the resolution you want. We recommend the 1080p resolution. Now add a widget and choose alerts and then alert box. Go to tip alerts and click the cog wheel. Here you can customize what image or GIF by clicking on set image and choosing from your gallery or upload a new one. You can use a video as well by clicking change video. You can also customize the sound the alert plays here. There's a lot of other options you can play with here, but let's see how our alert looks right now by emulating a tip coming in. Okay, now we can press save. And then click this button to copy the URL we need. Go into OBS Studio and add a new browser source paste the URL we got into this field and click OK. And there's our alert box. Now let's test our tip alert. Great, it works. And that's how you set up everything about tipping with Stream Elements. Thank you so much for watching and we hope that you found that useful. Make sure to follow us on all of our socials showing up on screen right now and, you know, to keep up with everything Stream Elements. And uh, I'll see you on the next one.